The historic downtown neighborhoods of Ryogoku and Kuramai sit on either side of the Sumida River. The famous artist Katsushika Hokusai was born here in 1760. His woodblock prints depict the area's bridges, shrines, and waterways, all teeming with life. There's a museum here dedicated to his work. These days, the towering landmark is Japan's tallest structure, Tokyo Skytree. For many, though, Ryogoku means just one thing, sumo wrestling. Japan's national sport. The 11,000-seat sumo stadium is here, as are many of the stables where the wrestlers live and train. If you're thinking of attending one of the three annual tournaments, be sure to plan ahead and book tickets. The Buddhist temple of Ekoen is the sport's spiritual home. It dates back to 1657, when a fire swept through Tokyo and destroyed more than half the city. Until the old sumo arena was built in 1909, Sumo was held at a Cohen twice a year. The Sumo Association paid for a monument here in 1936, and young sumo wrestlers still come here to pray for strength. Close by is Kyu Yasuda Garden, a Japanese stroll garden which was originally created for the house of a feudal lord at the end of the 17th century. The pond is shaped like the Japanese character for Kokoro, or heart. Its water comes from the Sumida and its level rises and falls with the tide. Cross over the river to Kuramai for health-conscious restaurant Yuwaru, where the speciality is Nekase Genmai, unpolished brown rice packed with vitamins and fermented to stickiness. The popular lunch set here is bursting with fresh produce. The adjacent grocery sells juices, pickles, miso, rice and sake. The Nakamura family have been growing green tea in Shizuoka Prefecture for four generations since 1919. They switched to pesticide-free cultivation over 30 years ago, and everything is done in-house, from cultivation to processing. You can buy their organic teas at this pocket-sized shop. Sit on a counter stool, try a few brews, and discover which one is your cup of tea. Fresh sencha, roasted hoji cha, or perhaps genmai cha with brown rice. Kuramai has had a burst of energy in recent years. More affordable rents in this part of the city have opened the way for young businesses. There are good coffee shops at every turn. Mizusai, a third floor shop and gallery, shows an eclectic lineup of modern ceramics and crafts from all over Japan, alongside photographs and drawings. The minimal interior provides the backdrop for a roster of solo exhibitions. Take time to walk through these neighborhoods, where old and new Tokyo live quite happily side by side.